I'm Steven and I'm thrilled to introduce you to a new groundbreaking AI image generator accompanied by a comprehensive tutorial series on how to use this tool for image generation. Over the course of several parts we'll delve into various aspects of this remarkable tool. Today we kick things off by exploring the UI presentation and functionality. At this stage we are proud to present the closed beta version which already showcases impressive capabilities. Rest assured, more exciting features will be added in future updates as we continue to refine and enhance the software. One of the core principles behind our design philosophy is ensuring user-friendliness even for those who are not tech-savvy. The software boasts a clean and intuitive user interface, carefully crafted to make your experience seamless and enjoyable. The elements are thoughtfully organized, providing you with an effortless and intuitive interaction. So stay tuned for the upcoming tutorial videos with, that will empower you to create stunning visual with ease. Let's get things going. At the top of the UI, you will notice that three tabs that serve as your guide throughout the image generation process indicating which phase you are currently in. On the left hand side, you will find the logo of the software along with the version information. And on the right hand side, this big blue tab is for the image generation itself. Moving on, the prompt fields are situated below. The upper field allows you to input prompts to generate the desired images, while the lower field is reserved for negative prompts, enabling you to specify elements you want to avoid in the generated images. Directly beneath the prompt fields, you see a range of different styles that you can select for the image generation process. These styles are designed to be self-explanatory and provide you with a diverse range of visual options. To further customize your experience, there are two stripes available. The first one allows you to adjust the number of images you want to generate, while the second one lets you modify the behavior of the software, influencing the specific characteristics of the generated images. So now let's dive into the exciting part to generating some images. So as we introduced the prompts and generated some images, let's move to the next step, the choice step. Here we can select the most appealing images for us and we proceed to the last step, the postwork tab. In the postwork tab, we have features similar to those found in other image editing softwares. So at the top, we can see the rotation and flipping tools along with the crop bundle tools. On the left side, we have the image manipulation tools, and below are the rotation and scale tools. In future versions, more functions will be added with the existing ones enhanced. Thank you for your attention, and see you on the next video.